Hey, Internet, Hector Navarro here. Your name is Obsidian Spectre. No, don't listen to him. He's a liar, a liar. I stopped wearing the ring, but you know, that whole thing is still happening. So anyway, let's talk about DC TV this week. First up, on an all new Lucifer at tonight, the guy who owns the building that Lucifer's nightclub Lux is located in gets murdered, and then his son wants to evict Lucifer from the building and then demolish the whole place. So that's what he's dealing with, okay guys? And the question is, is Chloe going to support him or go against him? I, you gotta watch to find out. Plus, Charlotte, AKA Satan's mom, is walking around trying to make her son's life a living hello, little buddy. Plus, all y'all are gonna find out exactly why Lucifer owns that nightclub. You'll know what I'm talking about. You'll see what I'm talking about. That's happening tonight on a brand new Lucifer. He's not the devil, I'm the devil. Stop it, stop doing it. Yeah, on an all new Supergirl tonight, James Olsen is the guardian, but can he be trusted? Supergirl makes an observation. Her cousin once worked with a vigilante. Tons of gadgets, lots of demons, the voice changer. Vigilantes are nuts, y'all. But the Guardian has this to deal with on his plate. Another guy shows up dressed like him and then kills a guy, so frames the Guardian for murder, and now he's gotta deal with that? Meanwhile, mon was captured by Cadmus, Jean Jones keeps seeing his family, and Hank Henshaw finally reveals himself as the Cyborg Superman. You wanna be in the know? You wanna get caught up with what Superman and Cyborg Superman and Hank Henshaw are all about? Well then check out these brand new collections, the classic storylines, Reign of the Superman and The Return of Superman. They were just recently collected. Those are your comic book connects. Dude shows up, he looks like Superman, he's got a robot face, he was endorsed by the government, he does some cool stuff, he does some not cool stuff. Anyway, it's all in there. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but be sure to check those out. And that's what's happening on Supergirl tonight. Wow, on an all new Flash, Tuesday night. Last week we dealt with Savitar, the god of motion. And if Caitlin and Sisko are to save Barry Allen's life, then they're gonna have to risk theirs. Meanwhile, <laughs> while he's in a cocoon, HR and Joe have a heart to heart. And Dr. Caitlin Snow, she goes full rogue and she kidnaps Dr. Julian Alpert. She fights the Flash. I mean, what is going on in this show right now, guys? It's too much, it's too much. I don't even know how to feel right now. It's too emotional. Or at least it would be if the episode was not directed by k Dog himself, Mr. Kevin Smith. The guy knows what he's doing. He knows how to do action. He knows how to do emotion. That's why we brought him back to direct this episode. Look, if you wanna be prepared for what's gonna happen to your heart emotionally when you see Caitlin Snow go full Killer Frost, well then check out your Comic Book Connect, a classic issue of Firestorm, volume number one, issue number three from 1978. It was a groovy time, the origin, and the first appearance of the first iteration of a character named Killer Frost. In this iteration, her real name is not Caitlin Snow, but Crystal Frost. So she was always destined to become a supervillain with a name like that. So that's Flash happening Tuesday night. Check it out. But that's not it for DC TV this week, guys. Don't forget about a brand new episode of Gotham happening tonight. Be sure to check it out. Comments time. Last week we asked you guys who's your favorite DC sidekick of all time. Y'all answered plentifully. We're gonna go ahead and read some of those comments right now. Ace Dia Decay says, why limit yourself to a single sidekick when you can have a whole legion of substitute heroes? Good ref, good ref. Good rep. If you don't know what they're referencing, do some comic book research. It's fun. DeAndre Hamilton says, OMG, I can't believe my comment was in this video and now I'm trying not to lose my mind. Technically, that's not a sidekick, but all right, great, thanks. Mr. WTM says, Robin, parentheses, Damian Wayne. Solid pick. Seabat1612 says, whoa, you and me, bro. My favorite is Tim Drake too. You and me, bro. Stabilizer says, Wally West is my favorite sidekick. Solid choice, solid. Miwa Sakata says, my favorite is Impulse, Bart Allen. Good pick. Not enough love for Bart. Barry Alan says, the only right answer to the question is Alfred Pennyworth. How dare you, sir? Tonight, on an all-new Pennyworth, is he a sidekick? Hells no. Jordan Christek says, Roy Harper, AKA Speedy, DC Comics, AKA Arsenal from the Arrow series, but also DC Comics. Hey man, that's a great, great answer, and I'm gonna give you your next great question. You guys know that next week is the massive DC TV crossover event. What is one thing that you would kill to see in the crossover? Go ahead and comment below and let us know. So that's a look at what's coming up this week on DCTV, guys, but be sure to head over to DCComics.com after the episode's air to check out the hashtag DCTV Couch Club recaps. They're pretty awesome. And guys, I wanna thank you for sticking with me through this weird and difficult time. I don't know exactly what it is that I'm going through. I don't know what it all means. I know that I can do this. But I have no idea what the heck that means. If you know, you know, feel free to reach out, but, uh, but we'll be here every week, and we so appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.